What's up, guys? I can't figure out how to write back. What does this button do? Live chat messages are visible. Got it. No, that's annoying. That's too many. Live chat. No, no, no. Undo. I don't. There we go. That's. I don't know. So, just loading up a truck to take over to the barn where we sell it all by the bale. They're getting a little low. We needed some nice green hay. This has been in this barn since November. Time to get it over to the barn so we can sell it. November hay. I want it focus. Anyway, it's nice and green. I actually should have been doing this way earlier today. Kind of like waiting till the last hour of work, two hours of work. Should have been done a lot earlier, but I, I kind of forgot I had to go to the zoo, deliver some hay to the zoo. So we went to the zoo. Now we're back moving hay around. That's a clerf clamp. That's an aftermarket clamp. It's better than what comes stock on them. Heavier duty, doesn't wear out as fast. It's a little bit slower. It's got bigger uh, rams on it to clamp. So the clamps are actually slower, but that's all right. Woo -hoo -hoo, look at that. Look at that hay, oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. It was a good November. Uh oh. Look at this dark brown spot right here. That's not good. That means water either came straight down or from the side, but because it's not there and it's not over here, I have a feeling it came straight down. So that stack is going to be not bueno, which that means not good in English. Let's get, watch him stab this one. So it opens up. He's got to get between that pole. Oh, 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 he's not, a, oh, there he goes. Oh, he's got it. Look at the dirt right there. That means some critters have uh, made their living space under here. Sometimes I catch scorpions under here. So like you see the tunnels from uh, something. Something lived here at some point. Uh, sorry guys, no scorpions. Oh man, I almost always find them. I can't believe they're not finding them. Oh, gotta help him. Run over here. Run, run, run. Oh, he's good. He's got it. Let me, hold on, go up. Does this come out anymore? Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. We're good. I feel bad, I can't see any of your questions. Let's do this now. Top chat, maybe this will help. Top chat. Looks like some good stuff, yeah it is. What's up Trevor? We met a few months back. The guy from Alaska that wants to work for you. Well cool. Hello everybody, good afternoon, afternoon, hi. Oh, I gotta get a ticket. Stowing like crazy here, ugh. Howdy, hey. Hi there, Mr. Trevor. If you got poop anywhere else on your body, if you only wipe it off just paper? No, I didn't use my hands. Love you guys, space sheep. Look everyone, there's Leonard. Robocop Leonard. Remember me? I don't know. There we go. See you in a minute. He's gonna... 
he's gonna unload me. Okay, this is not my truck. This is John's truck and it's pretty dirty. So for inventory purposes, we weigh every truck load that comes out of the barn. This year, so I went, I actually just sold two trucks and uh, where's reverse? I sold two trucks to buy one. So I got two low, got rid of two low horsepower trucks to go uh, for another, it's actually set at 600 horse right now, but we're gonna turn it back down to five. It's actually a factory five as well, or a six too. So um, it's just a C15. So we're gonna drop down to, uh, we're gonna go down from, from six to five, which one was one truck was in the shop all last year anyway, so didn't even get to use it. So it's gonna just be the same as last year. So five trucks. I wish I had another set of trailers on here just around the yard like this, because I'm not gonna go on the road. It'd be kind of handy, but then I couldn't weigh it. I could weigh it, I just have to split weigh it, but whatever. Check out this road. It's like ice road truckers, but in the mud. Mud road truckers. So this, this is packed in with some pretty, with uh, crusher finds from a local um, uh, gravel mine, quarry, whatever you want to call it. So it's not really muddy, it's just wet. The picture is really little. What you, is that better? It says the or orientation is locked. I don't think I can do anything. Yeah, it says orientation is locked, rotate device back. Yeah, so I don't know what to tell you, I guess. I'm not a computer nerd. Is it small this way? Now I've got it on selfie mode on my phone. Oh, you have to rotate before going live. Nobody told me this. Sorry, guys. Is it really that bad? Peterbilt. This is the barn that got tore up. That got tore up by the storm. Look at, look at what the wind did. It pulled that concrete out. Holy smokes. So this barn is gonna be all rebuilt. It's actually a touch smaller than all the other ones. So we're gonna build it, make it identical. We are frozen with snow and a high of 35. No, we are not. I'm like a high of 65, but it did snow like six miles from here up on these mountaintops, uh, but it's already thawed out. That was yesterday. It's thawed out today. But look at, we got a lot of water. Hello from Scotland, holy smokes. What do they say in Scotland? I heard they say in Australia, let's put another ship on the bobby. Just kidding, bad joke. Hi, from Vermont. I'm gonna watch this, uh, I think it's pretty close. Do you see it? The fence? Oh, we're good. We're good. But in all seriousness, you really don't remember me or my name because I've been mailing with someone with your name. Haha, ha, greetings, Netherlands. Oh, oh, you're the one. It's Mike, huh? What's up, Mike? Mike Modding. Yes, I know you. I didn't recognize that name at first. You guys, Mike. Oh, we've got a. If you're into uh, Mike, we can't tell him anything, can we? Are we allowed to? Uh, well, can we? Can I say anything? Can I tell him? Some of these people might not care. Michigan snowstorm here. Wish I had your sunshine. I wish you had it too. It's beautiful here. But because it's beautiful here, everyone moves here, and so the traffic is terrible. I hate it. Man, second gear is so, oh no, I'm in first gear. It's fine, but remember, it will take some months to finish. Okay, so Mike says it's okay to tell you guys. He's working on a farm simulator. Uh, this farm is gonna be on the game, which, sorry Mike, I've never played the game, um, but, I hear a lot of people play it and they really enjoy it. Okay, second gear, no clutch. Oh, you didn't even, it didn't even grind. Wow, super trucker. So yeah, Bales Hay is going on farm simulator. These cows, I hate these cows. We eat them. 
I need to get some better ones. Ugh. Um, so here's where everyone is buying hay. We close in 30 minutes, so it's already getting kind of slow. Yeah, yeah, F-22s fly over. We're right by Luke Air Force Base. Wait, F-S-20, Farm Simulator 22. Sorry, Mike. So there's people picking hay. There's the shop. There's some customers. They don't even know they're live on YouTube. He just waved. Nice guy. Don't even know him. Okay, I think we can hit third gear now. Ramming speed. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I didn't even. I didn't even put straps on. We're not going on the road, so if you remember from the video where all that hay fell off. We're around here. We just don't. Yeah, um, but yeah, he said it's going to take several weeks, months, whatever. But um, yeah, so there's a squeeze on there. And we we're just, uh, Mike and I were emailing earlier today. Maybe we need to put a uh, retriever truck. Oh man, it's hard to shift and hold this phone. Um, Downshift. Uh, okay, so now I got to get on this, this scale. So this scale is narrow and has the sides on it. We cut them off. But we used to weigh cattle on the scale. So what my grandpa would do would shut a gate at this end and walk 100 head on there, take the total weight, divide it by 100. That's why our scale, everyone thinks our scale is kind of funky, and it is. Uh, and it's really old. So the goal, the, we, we're, we're trying to plan a future office and scale how, uh, scale and everything. with the, So wider scale, closer to the office, bigger office, bigger store. Our, our store is very small and our office is very small. What I, I forget to tell people, we're open to the public, and so you can come in at any time and buy hay, uh, buy a hat, t-shirt, or just um, come by. And sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm not. So now, take my weight ticket, uh, climb out of here without falling, spin this around. Go in here. We put all this in on on uh, YouTube, actually. YouTube. G stands for gross. Gross weight. Print. It's always 72,000. Oh, man. That stinks. Okay. Close this. Back to the truck. Yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube. It's just a little dinky deal, Mike. Uh, oh, I gotta hit them. That would have been. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Yeah, Mike, there's a whole video on it. It's not very big. It's like ten by ten by twelve or something. Eight by twelve. Some girls doing a photo shoot or something. Lauren, she hasn't been on the show in a while. So there's a big arrow and a sign that says semi trucks this way. You wouldn't believe how many people don't go this way. You guys get to see the whole process. Leonard loaded me. Now Leonard will unload me. There's the blue truck, little truck. The truck I'm buying is across the street at the neighbors. windy at all today.
All right, pickup, you got to come this way. So that guy just filled up with hay. What's up, cowboy? Oh, that's not good in second. Back to first. So these guys over here are hand loading. That lady got some big bales. There's my, my baby girl. So the goal is to park, is to move as little as possible short distances. Okay. Oh no. Dang it. Forgot to put my thumb on the uh, trailer brake. So here's the back side. I just got to keep an eye on these because you'll pinch them. He's good. Uh, it's way too, way too late for me, Mike. Get some rest. Squeeze number three. One, two, three. There's four, technically. That green one looks good, though. I love that drop visor. See if we get her to wave. Yes, very strong currently, but the uh, exporters aren't throwing around money like they did a year ago. This time a year ago, they're running around dropping million dollar checks. This year, they're kind of waiting to see. I, th I think they're expecting Nevada to make a lot of hay, and so they won't have to, uh, they'll have other places to buy, but I don't know if Nevada's gonna produce as much as the exporters think Colorado they'll make a lot but they're still oh no how long has that been flat you got kidding me this had to have just happened what the heck it's the back side of the trailer so that's why I wasn't really paying attention did you guys notice that earlier I guess we're done well that's embarrassing I'm the boss. I shouldn't have those mistakes. What? Was that like that? Was that tire flat earlier? No, I just noticed it right now. That's weird. Huh. Maybe it's just low. Huh. Maybe it's just low. I don't I didn't hit anything. I mean if anything I would have hit with oh. Something did hit right there. Huh. Did I hit something, you guys? I would have hit it on this one, too. I don't know. Or unless my other driver hit something, but I don't know. Whoops, that's embarrassing. Maybe I did hit something. I was busy making videos. I'd take that truck off a sweet jump. Look, you got a lowered one and a lifted one. Both black. One Dodge, one GM. Looks funny, huh? There's the setup for the summer. Let's walk around them. Everyone asked, Oh, you have these guys, why well, didn't get rid of any of them? Lots of two wheel drive tractors. We don't, we hardly ever deal with mud. All I ever pull is a baler or a rake. So it's, I really don't need four wheel drive. But when we went to the, adding the steamer, it added a lot of weight behind this tractor. Uh, and you couldn't buy a fence this size, only two wheel drive. But being this, being four wheel drive, our thought is over time, as we rotate tractors, go through tractors, we'll keep one or two of them. And to have a good a good uh, four-wheel drive tractor, we've got a six, uh, 6615, 
It's pretty old. It's got coming up on 8,000 hours, I think. One day when it retires, one of these fence will jump in and take its place. So, Manitoba. Been to Canada once. I was in high school. That was a long, that was ages ago. They're pretty tractors. Uh, man, my guys, I, I wish I could say I've ran them. I haven't. I've barely driven them down the road, but they're good to run. Whoa, missed a step. The guys like them. They're air, air ride cabs. But man, look at all this stuff, you guys. Like, that's for the steamer. This is for the baler. This is the gazika, measures the moisture. This is the scale. It's funny, the scale is that big, right? You wouldn't think you need one, but apparently you do. This is for the tractor. This is just camera, uh, um, a screen for all the cameras because you can't see anything back there. They got it. There's a camera looking at the, at the bales coming out. This doesn't do anything. Man, we, we don't use GPS. Um, well, I, we use Tremble on one tractor. Um, steamers are, it, it just depends. Like they will, how many cuttings do you get and how many cuttings are you completely dry? I mean, if you only get two cuttings and you're dry, all two cuttings, I guess. Um, if you have pretty decent moisture and, and, you're, and you're four cuttings and two are good and two aren't, I don't know. They're expensive and depends if you have a tractor big enough to pull it. We didn't have tractors big enough to pull it. So we had to buy, I had one tractor. Oh, holy smokes, eight cuttings. Yeah, where are you? If we get that many, uh, you're probably somewhere hot and dry like me. You're pretty dry where you are? Tell them to come down, check them out. Uh, especially, I was just reading a report in the Western United States, specifically Arizona, California, uh, parts of Nevada, I think. They're looking at another, we had just, we just had 30 years, um, Australia, oh, Central California, yeah, you guys need it. Um, 30 years of dry, no monsoons. And now we've had two years with it. So they're expecting, uh, they're expecting 30 years of, of big monsoons. Trim, I don't, I don't know. We just, I don't know. We just, just have it on one tractor or two, I guess, two. I don't even use it in the other one, the other fence. So I don't know. Um, uh, the only thing we use GPS for is uh, putting in borders. When we put our borders in after after we've done all the lasering uh, for the irrigation purposes, then I'll run it with. Holy smokes! Yeah, five thousand acres. That's a big farm. Holy, I wish I had. Wish I had two thousand acres. Ugh. Anyways, um, we run it with our land plane as well. New Trimble or TMX? I don't. I don't know. I think it's. Just trim, I don't know what that means. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my, my, my big my big tillage tractor that pulls our disc. It's it's a deer with like uh, four uh, coming up on six thousand hours. Um, I don't know. I tried to talk my dad into putting GPS in it, but um, because man, you really save hours and fuel when you can run a straight line, especially especially pulling a big disc. I mean, that's what. Um, Oh, custom stuff. That's still, man, that's still a lot of acres. Um, when, you, when you're running GPS and you're pulling something like a disc that pulls hard or a ripper, like we've got a big ripper, like I would love to make the perfect pass every single time, save on fuel, save wear and tear on your equipment because you're not overlapping. Easier on your driver. He's not staring at a straight line way far ahead of him. Um, I mean, the good drivers don't, they're, they're just good. So it doesn't take them that, but um, I don't know. So anyways, we'll have GPS on the, on the tractors that set border that builds the borders that new fence though it can pull the it can pull our big disc but we mainly got it for well we got it for that and lasering and because it pulled the laser this year which the laser isn't gps the far more work on use what tazzy farmer message retracted Brand new balers. No bales through them. Gosh dang it, I can't believe that tire's flat. I'm old school. We used to back, no, we used to as well. I, I've, I've set lots of bags. Uh, not as many as you probably have if you're doing 5,000 acres, but I, yeah, bags are, uh, still trying to make a straight line 
I, I've actually done some custom borders for guys that were just tired of crooked, crooked, uh, crooked borders. Come on, first, found it. All right, we're off. And now, I don't know why this tire is flat, darn it. He did just fix the tire the other day. I'm kind of wondering if that's the same one. Whatever. I'm pumped, you guys. We ordered a new backhoe. Hopefully it comes in this, uh, today's Friday. Hopefully it comes in next week. Never owned a backhoe. Other than that broke down one that doesn't work. Pumped to have a backhoe. All right, first, you're low enough. Let's get to second, there we go. Oh man, I got a surprise birthday party to go to tonight. I forgot about that. See if we make it. Well, what else? Anything? I don't know what to tell you guys. It really feel weird you looking at my face. It's kind of boring. Hello. I have a buddy from college that lives in Illinois. Well, oh, great sign. Jumper cables hanging from that tractor. Just left there. It was, we just got quite a bit of rain yesterday and it was cold, so it's gonna really slow people down. So there's a 6615 I was talking about replacing right there. But that thing will probably run forever. This barn's getting low. Herbert Gaker Acres, what? You run owner operators or just your own trucks deliveries uh so i try to do everything myself but sometimes i get too busy and i gotta hire out but i've got my buddy chad uh, maddox I, I usually just call him he's actually he bought his own squeeze he's got his own truck one truck one squeeze so he'll jump in and help me whenever i need it we generally try to do everything ourselves just pay the Keep drivers busy, keep trucks busy. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Ooh, there's the big fan right in front of me. How your drainage system work? Um pretty good. I haven't put anything on top of it. Ah, dang it, you guys, I gotta do lightweight. Damn. I um I gotta go lightweight this whole thing. Can't can't just heavyweight, not lightweight. I got a bid on getting gravel and or millings at uh, asphalt milling, and it was oh, it's, it's a lot of money. And um, so my obviously I take all this to my dad. I don't. I would want to make a fifty thousand dollar decision without telling him. Uh, and he's like, "Let's wait. That's a lot of money." <laughs> so I don't know. Right now it's just a money mess again. But at least it it does drain off better than it was before. Before it pond up real bad. And, uh, that wasn't good. So now it is better, but it's not the way I want it at all. All right, now we gotta go way, way out. You haul, um, wait, what? Yes, it does. You haul from a neighbor? I don't know. I missed the beginning question, I think. I didn't quite catch that. Yeah, flat areas are not meant for rains. That house is so old, I'd love to turn it into a store, but it's not much space for what I want to do. I want like five to 6,000 square foot of store space. If I would have hit a tire, it would have been right here, but I would have felt it too, which makes me wonder if John hit it and I was low and I just never felt it. Well, there's a low rider. Yeah, 
and stop. Nick and Jake who? When do you mow for the first time? Well, we've already we've already mowed once, but it, it all went to the it all it all chopped. Um, it all went to a dairy, so that was that was last week. So we need to do we'll do one another three weeks. After that one, we'll be balls to the walls. I don't know Nick and Jake. Yeah, a lot of guys. I mean, there's a lot. Oh my gosh, seeing your son with that was crazy. Legendary rush. The farm I work is six thousand acres. Pivots, sheep, cows. Ugh, I would not want to deal with. That's way too many animals. Way too many animals. Jake is a squeeze operator. Jake, 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 Jake. Oh, Jake. It's it's brothers, right? Uh, Jake. I can't think of his name right now. He works for Oni. It's uh, kind of an older squeeze, right? The brother, Nick, has long hair, if I'm not mistaken. Jake, what is Jake's last name? Why can't I think of... Uh... Dang it, I know his last name. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank, though. But those guys... <laughs> it's from State Farm. Dano. Oh, Dano. Everybody, pay attention to Dano's messages. They get, they get a little wild. Yeah, Jake's a good guy. I've done a lot of stuff with Jake. He's loaded... I bought a lot of hay from his his bosses <laughs> in the khakis. Basketball? His last name is not basketball. Um, I bought a lot of hay from Jake's bosses. What is his last name, Jake? Uh, why am I drawing a blank? He just called me a couple days ago, and I don't even remember why he called me. <laughs> But well, whatever. You know, there's lots of custom hauling that goes on. I just try to use my own trucks. We bought them, got to use them, paying for insurance and registration. Got to make them pay for themselves. All right, now we get to park. It's frustrating when you're in live mode it doesn't tell you your battery on your phone it's the event I just bought that piece of junk for cheap so we're just gonna fix it up have an extra storage Yes, Dan. I don't know. What is his name? Why can't I think of it? Jake. Jake. Not Rodriguez. That's another friend. Jake. Not Castiano. Jake. Uh. Whatever. I'll remember it when Cortez. No, I'll remember it when I'm not on here. It doesn't matter. Man, that's frustrating though you can't remember someone's name <laughs> we got one challenger tractor no 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 it's a hispanic last name oh too far come on reverse there we go all right well guys it's been 35 minutes of awesome this i guess i'll let you go about your evenings because i really don't know what else to show you that's just me moving hay around not that cool really you know it's fun to like think about like when you're a little kid you're like yeah like semis are cool big trucks and equipment and stuff escaville <laughs> yes you got it jake escaville thank you wow i was gonna drive me nuts well, don't let me forget i gotta tell some about those tires tomorrow but um yeah like now my life is all heavy equipment well it you know to some people it's heavy 
and semis and fun stuff like that. So life's fun. Some dad advice. Uh, get your wife to the hospital. Do not deliver your own children. That was not fun. Stressed me out. A lot of like dark thoughts happen real quick. Like this is how my child dies in my hands. Oof. Don't suggest it. Anyways, well, I'll see you guys later. Not much else to tell you. Thanks for watching.